Good morning. It's day 26. Pretty drafty last night. Um, I didn't zip my sleeping bag up. I just used it as a quilt and it was a little bit drafty. But that's okay. Um, I kind of tucked it under myself through the night and managed to, to make do. Everything is crunchy and cold this morning. I would say it's probably around freezing level out here this morning. It was about 10 degrees in our tent last night, so it definitely uh, keeps it a little bit more sheltered than than out here. But yeah, everything's crunchy out here. So. We're gonna get packing up here pretty soon and eating some breakfast. It looks like we're going about about 12 to 15 miles today. We got a few up and downs. We did most of the hard up and downs yesterday and the hard climbs yesterday. So just a few little up and downs. There's lots of water today, it looks like. Um, we'll get the better part of the way to uh, Cabazon today. After that, it looks like we're going down, down, down off this mountain. Pretty excited about that. Then we should be able to get bigger miles in. These mountain miles are tough. Well, it's 6.44 and I'm all packed up, just waiting for Jen to get out of the tent so we can put that away and get Mose in. Really happy to announce this morning that we are above cloud nine. We didn't get wet at all last night because the clouds are below us. And we're heading out. So we started out a little bit in the snow. It's nice and frozen though, so so we don't need our micro spikes like we did yesterday. And now we're just walking down the side of the mountain. There's still patches of snow here and there. And there's still some crazy characters too. The thaw is on, look at that. It's actually flowing. Whoa, that's a little icy. But it is flowing, that's pretty nice. We are going down. The trail is so nice. I am a happy man today. We could actually get miles in if we actually could do this all day. There's a little bit of pine needles and dirt on the little patches of snow that there are now, which adds a lot of traction to the snow and ice. And it's way better than it was yesterday. Yesterday the slush and ice, or slush and melting thaw was causing us to walk through a lot of slush and we were doing a lot of post holing. And today we're, we're walking on frozen snow so it's not giving at all. A little slippery at times but with all this dirt and pine needles on it, it's, it's quite nice. It's good. <laughs> well, after an hour and a half of hiking, we went down to Saddle Junction, which is the trail into Idlewild, where we were for four days, so we won't go back there. We packed enough food to get to Cabazon, so now we're continuing up the San Jacinto Trail up the mountain towards the peak. We're at almost the same elevation that we were this morning when we woke up. Whew, we made it to the top of this peak anyways. 8,992 feet. <sighs> the altitude's definitely playing a big part in trying to catch our breath, that's for sure. But we will acclimatize. Back to walking through the snow a bit. The sun has been hitting us for a little while now. 
It's only quarter after 10, but it's already starting to thaw out drastically. And it's starting to get quite slick. Still not wearing the micro spikes because, let's face it, there's not much of a real hill to slide down. So if I fell, I'd only go a couple feet. Otherwise, we're not gonna wear them. This sign over here says PCT northbound that way, so I guess we go that way. You are responsible for knowing this. You must have a wilderness permit to be in the wilderness. What? Well, we were at the junction towards the peak. And it seems like I'm the only one that wants to go up to the peak, so I guess I don't get to go to the peak today. Here's our water source for for now. Looks like they're quite frequent. Looks like mountain water or mountain runoff from all the snow melt. Probably don't even need to filter it, but we'll just run it through anyways, just to be safe. We are going down the other side of the mountain. I have accepted that we will not go up and over that peak today or up to the peak today. I had a hard time accepting that for a while. I really wanted to do it, but the danger factor outweighs the, the pros, I suppose. And as much as I really wanted to do it, you know, Jen won't go up there with me, and that's a big factor. And my mom would probably appreciate that I don't go up there either by myself, so we'll have to come back and do that another time. Well, we managed to stop for lunch for a little bit. Had a salmon wrap and then a fig newton and peanut butter wrap for dessert. And unfortunately, all that downhill we just went down. It looks like we're going back up. So we managed to get off trail a little bit. So Jen strapped on her crampons or ice cleats and I'm just going to head up to where, where Captain is right there. I don't know how we ended up off the trail by about 40 yards, but the best way from up there. well, apparently we uh, missed that trail somewhere, <laughs> but we're good. Some of those snow bridges collapsed a little bit underneath us, but we're good. There's some lovely water right over here. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at that. There are some stairs coming up. Very bizarre to see on a mountain trail. <laughs> this is really neat. <laughs> so at the base of the trees right in the center there there's a trail that comes along we stracked our micro spikes back on that was really slick and sketchy as there's a big downhill into a rocky stream below so we came across you can see right beside that tree it's hard to see actually but from the base of the one tree down and we just came down down and across the river and then 
back down here, sliding all the way. Thank goodness for micro spikes. We have the most incredible water source here coming off of snow melt. Oh yeah. So we're just cameling up, drinking as much water as we can. There's a, about a 20 mile water carry here between the next water source. And we have to camp tonight, so that means dry camp. So I'm carrying seven liters of water, which is probably 16 pounds extra of water alone. It's gonna be fun. You got a one liter in that pocket, two two liters in the front pocket here, another one liter there, plus this one liter that I'm drinking right now and we'll refill before we go. Here we go. Ooh. 50 pounds. I'd probably say it's probably going to get you down anyway. It's all good. Okay. We finally get to go downhill. And there seems to be no more snow. Oh, I spoke too soon, but not really any snow to speak of. Just a few little melted patches on the side here. The sun is quite nice now. As we're going down, it feels a lot warmer. Man, it's cold on those mountain tops. You'd think you'd get closer to the sunshine, but I don't know. You just get colder up there. So it's just all that down that we just went down. Now we're going back up another 300 feet. Pointless up and downs, I tell ya. So we're finally pretty much on most of the snow, it seems. We're going down the mountain finally, and there's supposed to be a good storm coming in. That was supposed to be here on Tuesday or Wednesday. That seems to be coming in tomorrow. So we're gonna try to get down this mountain as fast as we can. Guess what, we're going back up again. Just made it to the top of this peak. What a cruel joke that was to go, to, uh, go down and go back up. I don't know if you can see way out there. There's so many windmills. Let's get a closer view soon. We thought we were done with the micro spikes for the day, but apparently the mountain had different ideas. Apparently it's snow for the next two miles down to the campsite. Park, I see camp. I have not been so excited in a long time. Wow. <sighs> Holy crap, that was an endurance of a day. We started at eight o'clock this morning and it is now almost seven o'clock. We've just been going, going, going to try to get here before dark. That mountain is a beast. I, uh, I rate it zero out of 10 stars in the snow. Highly recommend waiting until the snow melts to do it. Man, I was reliant upon the San Jack John report on YouTube and what I saw on YouTube showed that the snow was almost gone. Far from the truth. There's so much snow. And we walked in our micro spikes for the past five miles to get here. Holy crap, that was scary. I'm gonna go set up the tent because we are so cold and then we can get into the tent and warm up. Can't see much from here, but that is a beautiful skyline. Wow, that's pretty out there. Wish I could get a closer look, but I can't. It's been a hell of a day. We're gonna climb into the tent and warm up 
and crawl into the sleeping bags because it's so cold right now. Good night, guys.